Hi year one and welcome to the first English lesson of the week. Uh, the learning objective today is to use time adverbs to sequence a story. Make sure that you have something to write with and something to write on because we're going to be working on some activities as we're going along this lesson. So our success criteria is to identify time adverbs, to explore using time adverbs and to apply time adverbs to sequence a story. I hope that you have all by now listened to Mario the Fisher Fingers, I'm sure you have. So you know that story really well. And I want you to have a look here at what is in red. So the first sentence says, in the beginning, fish would travel to see Puffy blowing bubbles. The next sentence says, then they saw Barry, who had ten glittery fingers. And the last sentence says, later in the story, the fish were hiding in the seaweed. I want you to have a think, what is in red? So write down your answer, pause the video and write down your answer. So these are time adverbs. Well done if you got that correct. In the beginning, then and later in the story, they are all time adverbs. Time adverbs tell us when something is happening. It tells us the order of events. And here you can see the diagram of the clock and around it are some time adverbs and phrases. So we've got before, while, suddenly, in the beginning, eventually, and you can read all the others that are there. These are some examples of time adverbs. I want you now to spot the time adverb in the sentence. The sentence is, firstly, Puffy can blow many different bubbles. So I want you to pause the video in a minute and I want you to write down what you think the time adverb is in this sentence. It is firstly. Well done if you got that correct. Firstly is the time adverb because it tells us when something is happening. It's telling us when Puffy is blowing the bubbles. Remember, time adverbs tell us when something is happening and it tells us the order of events. So if you spot any of these words in the sentences, then you know it's a time adverb. The next one, I want you to spot the time adverb in this sentence. Meanwhile, Barry can do finger painting. So pause the video and write down what you think the time adverb is in this sentence. It is meanwhile. Meanwhile is the time adverb that we're using for this sentence. Remember, time adverbs tell us when something is happening and it tells us the order of events. The next sentence is, later in the story, all of the fish enjoyed hiding in the green seaweed. Pause the video and write down what you think the time adverb is in this sentence. It's later, it's also later in the story you could have as well. But you might see later, the word later in sentences, and know that that is telling you, the time adverb is telling you when something is happening. So time adverbs tell us when something is happening, it tells us the order of events. And you can see later is here written here as one of the time adverbs. The next sentence is, just at that moment, Puffy sulked on his own. Pause the video and write down on your paper what the time adverb is in this sentence. It's just at that moment. It's telling us when Puffy is sulking. Just at that moment, that's a time adverb. Time adverbs tell us when something is happening. It tells us the order of events. And here you can see just at that moment is written here and that's one of our time adverbs It's telling us when it's happening and we have another sentence now this one is suddenly a huge crate fell in the water what's the time adverb in this sentence have a think well done it's suddenly suddenly a huge crate fell in the water and suddenly is the time adverb Time adverbs tell us when something is happening. It tells us the order of events. Okay, now another activity. I want you to have a look and have a think which of these sentences use, uses a time adverb. You're going to tick or cross 
one of these sentences, or it might be two of these sentences that are using a time adverb. The first one is, I will go to get the food from the shop. Is there a time adverb in that sentence? The second sentence is, she went to work. Meanwhile, I went to the park. And the last sentence is, in the evening, he will cook pasta. So pause the video and I want you to write these sentences out and give them a tick or a cross to say which of them uses a time adverb. Well done, the first one does not have a time adverb. But the second one does and the time adverb is meanwhile. And the third sentence does and the time adverb is in the evening. It's telling us when it's happening. Okay, now another activity, I want you to decide which time adverb matches the picture. So we've got all of a sudden is the time adverb. Does it match picture A? Does it match pe picture B? Or does it match picture C? All of a sudden. Pause the video and I want you to write down A, B or C. It's B. And it's the picture of the crate dropping in the water all of a sudden because it happened suddenly it suddenly fell in the water without them knowing it was going to happen okay the next one the time adverb is in the beginning does in the beginning ma match picture a b or c pause the video and write down a b or c on your paper It's picture A, because this is what's happened in the beginning of our story. In the beginning is a time adverb for this picture. And the time adverb, finally. Does finally match picture A, B or C? Think about the story. If you have the book next to you, you can look through it and have a think to see which picture matches this time adverb. Pause the video and then write down A, B or C. It's picture C. So finally matches picture C because this happens towards the end of our story. Remember, you can say this with me now. Time adverbs tell us when something is happening. It tells us the order of events. Okay, I want you to have a look at these pictures. So these are pictures from the story. And I want you to have a think, what is the correct order for these pictures from the story? Pause the video, have a look at the pictures and decide which one should go first, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. Which order should they go in? So this is the correct order. This is from the beginning. This is, should be the first picture. The next picture, the second event. The third event when the fish are playing in the seaweed. Then we've got the picture where the crate is dropped in the water. The next picture is where the crate breaks into pieces and the last picture is towards the end of our story where they are having a party. Okay, so what I want you to be doing is I want you to order the pictures like you have done. You can order the pictures and then I want you to write a time adverb for each picture to show what order they should go in and what time adverb should go with them. Remember that time adverbs tell us when something is happening and it tells us the order of events. And here you can always pause this and it will help you to use these time adverbs for when you are uh, using it for your pictures. So you can pause this on this page and look at these uh, words that are around the clock diagram and you can use them to help you when you're writing your time adverbs. Okay, so we've got a challenge now before you go off to do your activity. There's a challenge. What time adverb can I use for each sentence? Sentence A is Mr. Bear was able to get some peace at last. Sentence B, the princess was playing with her golden ball. And sentence C, Jack woke up and saw a beanstalk had grown. Which time adverb could I use for each of these sentences? I want you to pause the video and write them down with, your, with a time adverb. Okay, so these are my time adverbs that I have used. If you have one different, it's fine, but you can have a look at mine. And if you have mine, then you can give yourself a tick. So my, my time adverb I use for sentence A is finally. 
Mr. Bear was able to get some sleep. Sorry, finally Mr. Bear was able to get some peace at last. That's what I wrote for that one. You could also have had at last. Mr. Bear was able to get some peace at last. It's fine if you had that too. Um, sentence B, I put in the beginning. That was the time I'd verb I used for that one. In the beginning, the princess was playing with her golden ball. And for sentence C, I put suddenly Jack woke up and saw a beanstalk had grown. Well done for your time and verbs that you put for those sentences. And well done for today's lesson. Thank you for joining me and I hope that you know about time adverbs really well now and that you're ready to use them today's, for today's lesson when you are ordering your pictures and you're going to use time adverbs for each picture from the story. Remember, you can use your Barry the Fish with Fingers storybook to help you when you are remembering what order they should go in. See you next time for tomorrow's lesson. Bye.